Uh, hello everybody, I'm Yama from Yamamoto Language, uh, Spanish Language Solutions and this is Yama Culture. And right now, what I'm going to show you is how uh, we decorated our hallway. Well, here we go. How we decorated our, uh, decorated our hallway for Day of the Dead. This is the beginning of our hallway, as you can tell. We have uh, all these skulls and all these uh, colorings on the uh, on the bottom a nice little phrase as you come into this hallway remember me and I will live forever okay kind of like the theme of Coco correct uh, after that we have this uh, this wonderful poster here where it says uh, well it's just that right there I don't really have an issue with the word Hispanic but that's beside the point the fact is that we have a beautiful poster with all these uh, wonderful flags then over here to the on this side we have um, we have examples of barriletes and um, skull iconography uh, the barriletes well not that many people know but Mexico is not the only not the only country that celebrates Day of the Dead in uh, Guatemala they also celebrate Day of the Dead speci specifically a a town called Zacatepeques where they make these kites called barriletes and fly them on um, the 1st of November um, which is All Souls Day. Alright and now we're walking over here yep so uh, this project here has you do this one right here. Um, they spell out the word Dia de los Muertos, and on each word, uh, on each letter, they write what, um, well, what the Day of the Dead means to them, or something that's related to Day of the Dead, using that letter. And here, what they added is some pictures, again, some Day of the Dead. Um, iconography. You get the little phrase "Day of the," well, of the dia. I guess that's just being hip. Here, here we go. Remember and celebrate. And then, um, another project that the students did were are these uh, literary calaveras. The literary calaveras are epitaphs, satiric epitaphs written in limerick form about a person or situation that's alive and they how and how they go up against death and they lose their confrontation with death. So uh, the students, what they had to do is they had to choose who their favorite uh, adult that works in the school is and then they had to write about write a, a literary calavera of them and also draw them on uh, this side here we have some more examples of barriletes and of calaveras barriletes and calaveras again in the celebration of Dia de los Muertos of Day of the Dead And uh, another project that the students had to do, they have is not that much what to do with Day of the Dead, but it's something worth mentioning, is these um, burras, which are the uh, public buses in Guatemala. So they had to make their own burra, color it, and uh, they had to write their name on it. This last one, well, 
Here again, we see the example of the project that has yeah, those muertos, and then they write down the words that uh, come out of there for them that symbolize it. And then the last part here are the calaveras, the skulls, and skulls, and the uh, illuminations, how they illustrated them. Very creative. All right. This is Yama from Yamamoto Spanish Language Solutions, and this was Yama Culture.